the, the song Fat Boy Slam. What's that Rockefeller skank? Check it out right about, right about, right about, right about now. If you want to use my vocals, I gave you permission to my vocals. I didn't give you permission to the master of this record. So up it in. The funk soul brother. Does this shit say Lord Finesse Records? No. Is my name and address anywhere on this record? No. Put the shit on speed 45 and sample. Dogs. I was doing that in the 90s. Sally, you know what I'm saying? That's, you know, for those who know what it is, that's on speed 45. Day in the life of three black men with me in the Grand Nubian. That was on speed 45. Red light, green light, one, two, three. That was on speed 45. I mean, you know, everything goes in a circle. For example, Larry LeVan, who was a very, very influential um, DJ here in New York, you know, here in New York City. Larry wasn't the best technical word, DJ. Word, word. That's what's up. That's what's up. Peace. He wasn't word. Peace. Uh, what's the video for? Um, he's doing, doing a documentary on, uh, on, on beat digging. Oh, yeah. right here. That's too great. The other on the beat. Dynasty. Fucking James Brown fanatic, you know? James Brown had a record deal. You know, the nigga went to the bathroom and he was pissing in the bathroom and the beat was playing. Dynasty had the album and shit. I give Hank Shock B a lot of credit. You know what I'm saying? If you see this shit, Hank, yo, you the motherfucking man. Dude. I heard Rebel Without a Pause and it was crazy. I thought I had all the James Brown records. I heard that shit, I was like, yo, what the fuck? I walked straight over to that guy, I went straight to his essence and found skull snipes. Alright? I asked him, how much, yeah, how much you want for this? Oh, it's kind of rare, $22. No problem. Here you go, thank you. Around this time, I'm like, maybe like, maybe like 15 years old, you know, and I'm throwing all these names at Jazzy J, like, yo, you know, you got this, you got this, you got this. Jay is like, yo, this little chubby nigga right here knows some motherfucking records. So that's what they use throughout the whole record of the Fat Boy Slim record. You know, if I honestly knew that my voice was throughout the record, you know, I did get get some type of residuals and ways to a certain point. But the way they just went about it was like real slimy, as you say. You know, you got my man Big L album right. You got his album, you know. And for niggas like that, you know, you just, yeah, they shit go behind my man shit. If you look at the album right here, you know. Fuck them niggas, let me put my man shit back here.